Hello, in this video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to change your rims in Photoshop. Uh, now, the version I'm using here is actually CS5 on a Mac operating system. Uh, this also does apply to versions on Windows uh, as well as previous uh, versions of Photoshop to CS5. Now, first we want to start by doing is actually having the image of your vehicle uh, uploaded into Photoshop. Uh, when selecting the rims you want to install on your vehicle here, uh, it does help does help to have something of a similar perspective of the vehicle you're using. I'll just show you what I have here. Now I will be using the Subaru here. Now I have changed, uh, just flipped the image horizontally here, uh, just so it's the same perspective. So you, I'll be using the rear rim on the front of the vehicle and the uh, front, uh, front rim on the rear of the vehicle. First we're going to start by doing is uh, selecting your marquee tool. Just slip simply copy and pasting the uh, rims out of this image onto uh, onto a new layer here so just make sure you have the Subaru layer selected go to edit copy edit paste see you already have the one rim there now moving on to the next rim making sure you still have your Subaru selected we'll do the front rim so as for a shortcut for this, you can either use on a Mac Command C for copy, and for Windows it can be uh, Control C. Now, in order to paste this, you can use either use uh, for Mac is Command V or uh, Control C for a Windows uh, application. So you can see there we have our two rims. Now, just so we don't get mixed up, we'll find out which rim is which here. So that's the rear rim. And then, just to double check here, this is the front rim. Okay, once we're done, we have our front rim selected. We'll just zoom in on here. Now, they aren't to size just yet, but we'll uh, fine tune that after in a moment. Uh, selecting your uh, lasso tool here, your polygonal lasso tool. We'll just go around and delete the outside of the tire here. And then making sure you have that layer selected, just hit delete, and um, there's your tire slowly disappearing. Now you want to continue around to the outside of the rim here, making sure none of the tire is showing, and you want to do the same for the rear rim also. Now, I've already done this here, so you don't have to watch me actually go through and delete all this. So let's close this layer, or close that layer up there, make that invisible, and then the other layer uh, visible here. Now we have your front rim here, we'll start with first. Make sure it's somewhat on center here. And now you can go and we'll do a, a free transform of this. So you can either use Command T or on a Mac or Control T on a Windows application, or we can go down to um, Edit and Free Transform. So what this will allow us to do is actually rotate on the outside and also change uh, the height and width of the rim itself. So Go a little bit here, make it slightly larger. Have something like that, and then we just hit the rotate a little bit, like so. Just something like that, and once you're done, you can just hit the check mark up here or enter. Something like that. Now we'll continue on with the rear rim here, just uh, zooming in a little bit, making sure you have your rear layer selected. Then you can hit Command T, just rotating it ever so slightly, stretching it. The height and then with the width here. Let's drag it into place like so. So you should have something that roughly looks like that. And you're done. Now that's just basically the stock uh, 15 inch rims which are on the vehicle itself here. 
Now what we can do is we can go select in the front one here. We can do the same thing with the free transform, just hitting uh, Command or con uh, Control T, doing the same, and we'll enlarge it this time with the percentage up top here. Now we can use this little tool here, which is actually a lock uh, for the ratio here between the width and height. So if we type in uh, whatever value, say 80% on the width, it'll automatically put in the 80% for the height here. So it just makes it a little easier to work with. So say we want these as a 17-inch um, rim. So we'll do 115%, something like that. Or we can just back off a little bit and do 110%. And hitting enter, which will be left with something that looks like that. Now we can do the same with the rear rim also. So hitting command or control T again, doing the same. So do 110%. Right here. Then hitting enter, left with something that looks like that. Now you can see the rim's a little bit off in the picture here, so if you just want to make them blend in a little better, uh, what we can do here, I'll just zoom in a little bit, just so you have the difference is. So considering we've made these rims larger and now they're ending up on the bulge of the tire here, it kind of just throws the image off just ever so slightly. So to make it a little more realistic, we'll go to work with the front rim here. We'll double click or uh, to bring up the layer style, or we can right click. Let's do blending options here. Uh, just to move this box out of the way here. Uh, you can go with uh, an outer glow, which is pre-selected as white. We'll do it as uh, normal. And move it on to black. And we can just uh, make the size just a little bit larger here. We can also change the spread of it and the uh, what the range is, so how harsh the uh, transition is for it. So it makes it just look like we actually have um, somewhat of a 3D aspect to it. Now we can also do the same with the inside of the rim, so just do the same. Uh, black, normal, and then we can just change the it a little bit so it isn't too harsh on there so it kind of just gives it that shadow effect there so it looks uh, somewhat realistic now in order to make this just a little bit easier another trick you can do you can actually go here um, copy layer style go down to the rear rim and paste layer style so you can see it already adds the shadow on now you might have to change the depth a little bit because it is uh, on a smaller portion here so we can just double click um, go up to outer glow and change the size to say 10. Now the rims still do, they're kind of a different shade as opposed to the rest of the picture here so we can actually move on to that. So doing with the front rim here we can do a color overlay, go as black and then we'll just do say a 5% um, increase on the image here just to make it a little darker Click OK, should have something looks like that. So, um, do the same with the rear rim also, so double click. Color overlay, black, and 5%. So, just to show you the difference between it. So you just darkens it up ever so slight, but it just makes it a little better looking on the image itself. So, once you're done, you should have something that looks like that. Now, thank you for watching my video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Uh, also, please subscribe to my channel for any further uh, tutorial videos you'd be interested in, and uh, rate my video. Thank you.